an emotional roller coaster right now, or, or don't even know what I'm thinking. <laughs> Gutted, I'm kind of out of words, you know. No, right hander. Oh, oh, we're going. Morning. Well, it's race day. Um, and if I don't look that excited, it's because we had a major last night. I'm an emotional roller coaster right now. I, I don't even know what I'm thinking. Gutted. I'm kind of out of words, you know. So there is definitely no plan, plan B. No plan B whatsoever. No. We left scrutineering last night. Um, we are putting the Polaris back on the trailer and power steering disappeared now. Generally speaking, we got a little power steering reset button on the steering wheel and we thought it wasn't a big deal. We got into camp last night. The EPS unit, the power steering unit, um, is gone. 1.30 this morning, um, I've organised one of my really good mates from the Gold Coast to go into the factory, pick up another steering box out of my pre-runner car. He headed down here about 4 o'clock this morning. We got a phone call on the sat phone uh, coming through Inglewood. Judd's run out of fuel, my buddy. I'm running on like an hour's sleep. Uh, Dave's yeah. here. How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, I'm alive. I'm up. Now... The kids are asleep, they don't know what's going on. We sent them to bed about 10 o'clock and we told them that we're gonna get the car going. There's Christian just waking up now. Now I'm gutted, like the words. I can't even describe um, if we can't get this car going, crushed. But look, hopefully Judd gets here real soon. If it doesn't work, that's it, the kids are out. But look, we'll see what happens uh, in the next hour or two. Um, if we can get this car back together and um, and hopefully it ends up being the weekend that we want it to be. You! Yes! The Judson! Yeah, Johnny! Yeah, Johnny! Yep, Tommy, just hold him up there. Hold him up there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love you, dude. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Look how emotional I, I know, am. I know. I want to get my kids going. Hag was that all the way from the Gold Coast Patriot Factory 1.30 oh, this morning, Judd. Say hello to everybody. Hello, guys. What a <laughs> legend. One of my oldest mates. One of the best boys around. Who would do that? Build, our crew. Our crew does Building that. dreams, guys. So here we go. They've got the razor here. This is it, uh, my pre-runner that we built for Fink. Let this happen. Let the kids race. Let's get it done. He's got to drive the wheels off it now. I wake up this morning and and everyone is talking about like the pre-runner coming and I'm like, well, it's four hours like back on the Gold Coast, so no way. And then yeah, half an hour later, this thing shows up. All right, so I'll show you what's going on. So. Jamie's pulling out the, the EPS unit out of there. Come with me and I'll, sh I'll show you what we're going to do. So the EPS unit, it's, um, it's an electric power steering unit, but it's got like a, it's connected to the ECU. And what it does with the Polaris is, is it controls the amount of torque that's going through the steering wheel. It's a really complicated system, but as a driver, it's absolutely amazing. Now you can see down in here, um, so we've removed the unit um, from the old car. Where is it? So this is the part here um, that we're actually, it's, it's like a steering box, I suppose. And this is the EPS unit here. Steering wheel shaft goes into this side and then the shaft comes out the other side and down to the steering rack. If this isn't the issue, um, the only other thing to try is taking the ECU out of that car and putting into this because the ECU is what's sending the signal down to that EPS unit. If it's not one of those two things, we'll, um, we're out. We are solid five hours working on it last night, so that's what we've nailed it down to. Jamie and Dave will get in there now, um, get this thing done, and get this car down the track. And now we've got to win. When I called him last night at midnight, it was like, yeah, dude, no dramas, I'm on my way. What do I need to do? You tell me what I need to do, where I need to go. He went and hired a trailer at like one o'clock this morning. He hired a trailer, went to the factory, forklifted it down, got it on and now he's here. So, wrapped, absolutely pumped. Where have you been? Have you been sleeping the I've whole time? I've been in bed with my son. Yeah. Been here, yeah. it's like getting diesel at like two o'clock in the morning. Oh, mate, you got to I drove back to the Gold Coast. Hey, where'd you drive? No, like an hour. What's going on, mate? Mill Marin. 
Yeah. It was like it was yeah, like fifty somewhere. minutes or something like that. Fifty five. No, it was like well sixteen days from the survey. And we were like, come in. One. I went through. I'm Warwick. like on the horn. Jada's oh, you on went the through horn. Warwick, like, come come in. In. That's why it took me. <laughs> Biggest asset, man of the match this weekend goes to Jamie. He's used to this pressure. He's used to obviously race mechanics and limited amount of time. Um, and it's it's just a game changer happening here. So happy to be standing for him because this happens to us on the racetrack or even prior to the race. This is what you need. Though. It's no no mucking around. Just get in there, get the job done, get the car going. You can't see any different. Have a look at how it's flattened over on the under one. See how it's flattened out. No, that's just for the bolt. That's just where the bolt's got to go. Well, it won't go through anywhere, so the bolt goes through the gap here, so we'll have to line that up with the split, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what's got to go over there. Absolutely wrapped. Jamie's gotten the EPS unit in while I've been buttoning up the trophy truck to get them to prologue. He's got it, he's started it, the light stayed out. Going for a test drive. Fingers crossed the boys are back in the race. Just, just stop. Just come to a stop. Hit the, hit the power steering reset. Yep. Well, I haven't told you I love you. Have I? Yeah. All done. Sorted. Reset's working perfect. Sorted. Whoa. Like, whoa. The emotional roller coaster of off road racing. If you followed us at Fink every year, you'll see there's always something. This is by far the worst one that I've been through, and it wasn't even my case, you know? It's good that everybody got it all sorted and got it done, so I just want to see the boys go on the track. It's one of those things with race cars, it really doesn't mean the car's actually going around the track. As we've seen, all we did was take it off a trailer and one part break. I probably shouldn't swear to I, I've got no idea it does it, eh? Yeah, that's what we're saying last night. I was just saying the dynamics of from these boys are... Yeah. Okay. The whole team, Dad. What, Judd, Tanya. What, yeah. midnight phone call. Yeah. Tan, I need you to go and unlock the factory. She's like, no, whatever you support. need. Tanya goes, you want me to drive it now? Really? That's, so nice. That's what she said last yeah. night. Judd, look. Yep, dude, no dramas. What do you need? On my way. Hook it. I'm going to rent a trailer. That's so good. I lay four o'clock in this morning. He's like, mate, He's you, like, go, back, worry, you go back to bed. Go to sleep. Get some sleep. I'll go get him. You know, 200k round trip at four in the morning. And you know what? He's Oh, we love the truck. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I want one. <laughs> what a crew. You better give the boys some love, huh? Yeah. yeah you so better give all these boys some love and your Uncle Jamie did. Save the day. And all you have to do is win. This this team, I've said it how many times before, this team, this crew, the people that we have around us, our family, our friends, the employees, my brother, everybody comes together and I don't know how we do it every single time. We just make it happen and this is what Patriot Campus is all about. This is the family, this is this is Patriot Life. Awesome. Boys are racing. Let's get down the track. Cause it's why I stay I just made a thousand Blew it in your face I've been going in uh, I'ma close the case I can't wait no more Man, I gotta blow the day Popping up Tell you what, I'm, I'm really calm And you know what? I figured it out I'm nervous for the boys Yeah, it's good I'm just worried about them, man No 
This truck was like yesterday or something like that. So yep. good run there, stepping up from a side by side. He has a very class, fast, fast six of feet. Take it easy. Go through. Done. Good job. 
Good job. Take it easy. All the way back to the pits. Cop up. No, you didn't. Now you got that out of the way. Oh, thanks, man. That was all right. Whatever. It's a very long weekend. There's still 400 k's to go. Yep. Yeah? 400. Yep. yep, yep. You got the spin out of the way, you got the f up out of the way, who cares? Okay. Um, run was okay, besides the start. There is a lot to get used to here, there's a lot going on. Yeah, that spin out, man. I just, we came over that jump and then I've just gone straight into the middle of the puddle. Got straight into the middle of it. But it was all just happening so quick for me, you know, the first time in the car. I came over the jump and I've seen the puddle and I didn't, I didn't know which way to go, so I just hit it. Where's Yanni? Get in here! I saw you cross the line. Where's Tom? Yo! We saw you take off and we saw you cross the line. Mate, How'd you go? so good. How'd you go? Smooth, calm. I saw you come over those big jumps there and it was just, it you was were so good. flowing, you were rolling. It was, mate, the whole time, he, we just cruised. It Have was you listened? fun. We listened, we was fun. It was, that, that was a fun, it was a fun lap. Do you feel better now after yeah, watching the cars? And Tommy said that he was awesome oh, mate, and very good. Dude, you, I saw you come through, you yeah. crushed. Yeah, he was, yeah? He was awesome. Well done. So we, we, Until it was very, the lead foot gets on tomorrow, then we've got issues again. Then Mum will cry again. Nah, it was, it was good. The only thing was just staying in the middle of the track. And that's, that's all we've got to learn is knowing where the car sits. Yeah. That's it. But other than that, it was perfect. It's good. It's good. He's, um, it's only a short course, but towards the end of it, his driving from the beginning to the end was completely different. Way more confident in the car already. We've still got a long way to go. Alright, who wants to know where we ended up? Uh -huh. I do. We ended up in, in 46th position, mm -hmm. out of 66 cars, to be expected, we're mm -hmm. at the back of the field. You're in 49th. Oh, yeah. You are three cars behind me off oh, the God. start line, dude. Great <laughs> drive. Yeah. Great See, drive. I told well you we were cooking, dude. You've done, you done, really well. yeah. yeah, really, really well. It's very smooth. You've done really, really well. But we're not last. We're not Does last. Mean? We're definitely not last. So, babe, we're 46, and the boys are 49. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we can that. So we'll pretty much be on the start line together. That is really cool. Yeah. Well done. The weather, how's the weather? Oh, yeah, it's getting nasty. Yeah. So this weather, normally I would absolutely detest this weather and this is not what you want in any situation, but on race day, the wind is gonna be a massive advantage. And even for us being in the back of the field and trying to chase down the cars, this wind's gonna push it all away. We're starting to get a little bit of a sprinkle of water as long as it doesn't downpour, yeah. it'll just settle the dust on top of the track which should make mine and Jamie's job a lot easier, reeling in the cars. And without being arrogant, we know they're slower than us. You know, it's just, it's a mathematical thing. We got 650 horsepower, they've got 150 horsepower. So we're going to catch a lot of them, reel in a lot of the cars. Um, and this is going to make our job a little bit easier uh, for today. Yeah. Yanni's first race, he's about to go out now, so this is it's real now. Prologue this is going to determine his starting position for this afternoon. Um, just giving him some final points. It's exciting, really exciting. Alright, I'm going to go watch it. Oh, I'm going to go watch the track. Alright, good luck, homeboy. I love you. Be safe, yeah? I mean, it's fast, but you, but, but you do, like, have to be quick. I'm nervous. <laughs> I can't. No. <laughs> I'm nervous. He'll be, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be alright. He's good. He's got it. What did you bring with me? It's got to be pretty nerve wracking for a mum. All three boys in the race cars. But they're good, they got it. The kids got it. I got it. You'll be fine. Oh, you actually cry. <laughs> I love you. It'll be fine. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. 
You got this. Move this fast, man. Yeah? Don't do anything silly. It's Be a the long turtle. Weekend. Be the turtle, not the hare. Just here we go. Hey Tommy, good luck to you yeah. too. Yo. I got him. Be safe, man. I got him. today yes so you just you drive to how you kind of feel comfortable if I feel you're out you're like you're out of control we'll pull you back yep all right but I, I don't know your limits mate year on I'm a race car driver Sarah you married a race car driver you guys are gonna make me die young <laughs> Seeing Justin and Jamie cruise over first, three cars later, see Tommy and Christian cruise over is awesome. Seeing them so close together, going off the start line like that. I think in probably about, I'm putting money on about 55 minutes, we might see Justin cruise over that finish line in the trophy truck.
Honestly. That was well amazing. Done, well done. That was amazing. Well done. Oh. Drive it that so was well. risky. That was so fun, wasn't it? Oh. So fun. Hey, honestly, that was just the smoothest, calmest, fastest ride I've had. Honestly. There was nothing out of control. We were faster where we needed to be fast. It was that good. What about us, baby? Yes, so good. 
It is so good. Yeah. All right, here we go. We are back in now. The reason why I just I wasn't like get, you didn't get that whole first Justin reaction. We just got our ass chewed out by the scrutineers for a very, very good reason, yeah? We were late getting to the grid um, and we did something wrong in the pits. I'm not going to go into the details. We, pro we, we know better than that and they, they did the right thing. But here it is. Here's the reaction. Get in here. Get in here, Navi. Here's how we went. So, yeah. Miss Diani, yes. 103. Yeah. yeah. So we don't know what position you're sitting in right now. Um, we're going to get onto the website as soon as we can get reception. But we did a... 55 oh, yeah. flat. 55 flat. I think in probably about, I'm putting money on about 55 minutes, we might see Justin Cruz over that finish line in the trophy truck. You're a wizard, Harry. Uh, Paul Wheel done a 52.43. So we're two, min two minutes off the pace. I think we're currently sitting in 23rd. We started in 50th. Yeah. So all in all, good result. Did you guys go? Mate, we overtook the can then. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. 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 But look, that kind of shows you, 650 horsepower, 40 inch, like whatever suspension trophy truck, eight minutes off my pace. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. The boy can steer. Everybody get in here, come in here. Come and have a look, Team Patriot, come in here. I'm gonna close, I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna close out day one. I'm gonna do it right here. Oh, the 4 <laughs> Hi. first appearance on Patriot Games, one of my best mates. The whole crew down is to it. Get in here. Nice shit. Get in here. Get one of the guys that made it happen. Who else? Who else we Jody. got here? Judd. 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 Oh, Judd. Judd. Hey. So, hey. top dog. The day we have had today is going to go down in the history books. This will be a story that you guys will be telling your kids. But we made it the 484, the 688 car, day one of racing here in Gundy. We crushed. Let's go drink some beer. Yeah. Put all the covers down. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for day two of racing. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, maybe we won't drink oh, it's yet. bad news. Yeah. My car's broken, broken. Boys' car? My car. It's shit a water pump. I'm gonna put it back on the trail. Don't even know. No. What do you mean? Like, just a water pump? Just the water pumps. I thought it was their car that had, like, the issue. Hey, Dave! That was yesterday, but. Can you do, like, anything to fix it? What, so you can't drive it? No. Sorry. Well, I can drink beer with you tomorrow and watch the kids. It <laughs> always just feels like there's something. Oh, and you were so happy when you liked the food today. Mm. I wouldn't have a shower, everything was fine, I'm clean, and then... Oh, at least you feel good. I can have a shower now, so go on. Go on, sit in, go on, sit by the fire, and I'll see how the boys go. Hungry? No, we just Dessert? Ate, we just had dinner. Dessert? Yep, okay, dessert, we'll make everything better. Love you. Love you. Well, you don't Problem. So, it's just gone... <clears throat> it's eight o'clock after our first day. Um, we're just doing a prep on the truck. You can see the truck's all uh, stripped out. We're prepping it for tomorrow. Uh, Jamie's just uh, discovering the front of the water pump <clears throat> as disintegrated. Done. That's came over, eh? Right? Yeah, so we noticed on the logging the um, the voltage has started to drop and that the water temperature has gone probably up. About, probably about 10k out. 10k out. And um, when we initially looked at it, we thought it was belt slips. We've changed the belt when we pulled the belt. Found a bit of movement in the water pump. Didn't take too much notice of it. Thought it would be okay. Put the belt back on, topped it up, and water just started pissing out of it. The, um, the water pump's gone, and it's a brand spanker. 
to brand spanking new pump. Now the problem is, I think for the people watching, you're going to say, "Well, go and get another water pump." Problem is, this motor is a full custom motor. Like it's a, it's a mach everything's machine. There's nothing LS about it. It's LS based. It's got a front plate that bolts onto the plate on the front of the motor, and that holds all the accessories. And only one brand of water pump fits onto that. Now you're going to say, "Well, you idiots, why don't you have a spare?" When we we're actually prepping the car for this race, um, we weren't too happy with the slack in the existing water pump that we had. So we called up the guys in the United States that manufacture the pumps. They've shipped us out a new one. We sent our old one back to rebuild. You cannot buy a rebuild kit for them. They have to go back to the manufacturer um, because they're all machine. Mm -hmm. So right now our other pump is in America. Um, it's due to be freighted back to us next week. And this brand spanking new one that cost me as much as a probably someone's first car mm -hmm. is now toast. It's done. That's racing done for us for the weekend. There's nothing we can do about it. It's racing. of the day it is all about the kids full send but with a little bit back yeah okay full send but just like back a couple of notches, notches. because yep. the finish you got to do Chief. finish first first you must finish that's um, my boy you got to do exactly what your brother did yesterday yep. just keep the car on the track yep. um and let's see if we can um if you guys can top 10 it today dude that is the result we're going for yeah? Mean, yeah let's see how we go today Fashion, have you got your good attitude on today? I've got my very good attitude on. Good. Good. Yep. Good. And don't roll. Good. And don't draw water. Keep all four wheels on the ground. Keep the things straight, dude. No drifting. None of that sort of stuff, all right? No drifting. No, it's not a uh, familiar position for me at all. Um, but like we've said a couple of times now, this is as good as me racing, eh? You know what? This is better than me racing. Full sand dash. How you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Feeling good? Yeah. Like that shit. Now, it's not all lost today. We're gonna do something else fun. Yeah. Besides driving a trophy truck, we are going to go for a ride in that thing. So, over the back here, Ashton's about to take off. He's only a couple of minutes away from leaving. We're gonna see him come over the jump here. We're gonna stage up in the helicopter. And then when he comes past, we're going to go chase him. We're going to check his form, see how the car's running. Get You guys are going to get to see the track from yeah, the air. That'll be cool. So this is going to be a pretty cool little adventure. Let's go jump in. Let's do it. Yo, who's pumped? Right. You ready? Ready to go for a flight? Go chase your brother? Yes. This is like professional race car thing, aren't you? <laughs> this is where it's at. We have a chase helicopter. Well, we don't. We've had one for <laughs> half an hour, but that's all right. We'll pretend it's out. Copy. 
It was either feeding the ball. Maybe it just got hot. Yeah, so it couldn't cool down properly. Yeah, this is car six eight eight. We've just been on the 688 car, so Tommy and um, Tommy and Ashton are about 10k into the race. They're out. Something's happened. They're down there. We're going to put the chopper down beside them. Uh, hopefully, it's something simple like a belt. They're both out the car. out of the chopper let's see if we can sort out what's going on oh, i've got the camera crew landing behind me yo what's happened what's happened i overheated it itself and then we turned it off to let it cool down and then it ran out of battery what where's what's overheated the water we were, the water was overheating and then we just were losing power we're getting about 60k he's oh, no, dead battery. Yeah. Battery. Put, put your foot on the brake. Just you're dead, dead. Yep, Where's dead. your other isolator? You haven't hit it with a helmet or something, have you? No. No, it, it died on us. You've got your accessory powers working, but your main powers not working. I'm gonna see if I can get the 66 fly back, drop someone off, and grab Dave and bring him out. Um, we were sitting in the, we were sitting waiting to go, and we noticed that the water temp was running a little bit high, but it just kept coming back down, which kind of ignored and then the low battery came in um, and we turned all the lights off and then yeah getting down the track running really well and then suddenly he had no we had no power um, and it was still running hot so we sort of made the decision to pull over checked to see what was going on couldn't see anything so we went to jump back in and there's no power but no battery whatsoever Mate, I don't, I honestly, I don't know. I'm the wrong guy to be looking at it. There is no power to ignition, so there's no dash. All of his accessories are still working, which is telling me there's plenty of power in the battery, um, but something's going on with the main electrical system. So I'm thinking if you guys were losing power, like power would go out and come yeah. back in, I yeah. think it's electrical. Yeah. But you definitely, there's something going on with the radiator as well. So do you need me to fly back? We need to, now? somebody's got to go. Yeah. Yanni? Thanks, Christian. All right, we'll see you soon. Called over to um, just give it a little rest and have a look, and then we jump back in the car to start it up again and go power. Oh, we got charged. No, no. back, fixable. We'll get you back out this afternoon. Someone. What do you want us to do? Run over to the pilot, tell him to radio the other pilot, tell him to come back. There's nothing Dave can do, tell him to come back. Alright, so I've figured it out. Um, I'm pretty confident I've figured it out. I think the old mate's done, so I've just put a battery pack, one of the recovery cars here has got a battery pack. I've just put on the battery, the dash came straight up, but the dash is showing 10.4 volts. That should be after that race, that should be well over 14 volts. That is the Polaris out for this round, but I know we've got another alternator back there. If I'm right, if that's the issue, we're going to whip this thing back, we're going to get it fixed, and we'll get him out for the second race. An alternator. No voltage, that's why the comms wasn't working. 
He's down at 10 volts. We've got to go pick him up. Otherwise, he's stuck there for the day because of the position he's in. Huh? Okay, so let's um, let's get Dad pulled out um, and let's get down to Pollux Road and get him picked up now. So I pull I pulled up as soon as I got to the car. They're like, we've cooked the motor. We've lost all the water. There's no water in it. So I'm chasing water. Then I went to start the car to fill the header tank. No power. They're like, oh, we kept, we got no power. We kept losing power on the, on the way. Someone had a jumper pack. I put a jumper pack on the battery. Ten volts on the dash. Right. So we've dropped it. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have a spare? Okay. On that car. There's our spare right behind us. My pre-runners come in handy. Yep. yep. All right. I'm going to go and organise Dad. Dad's yep. got to go pick him up now. Otherwise, he's stuck there all day. Right. So pull. You start pulling out whatever parts you need. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We've got to get him going, man. Yeah. Is it? It could be plug. It could be something from there yet. So do you want to just? I'll get tools ready. How hard? How quickly can that? Will that come out? It's the whole side. The casing is, you know, big job. So it's it's not five minutes. Yeah. We've... Hopefully, then it's something else, a little bit simpler. Maybe yeah. a connection. We'll check. I checked all the first. terminals. Yeah. As yep. best as I could. Let's go get the car, and then we'll yeah. ascertain. Hopefully, we can get the thing going again. How you going, boys? Uh, how, you how you feeling, homeboy? Huh? Um, That's racing, I, mate. <laughs> Off-road racing, it's it's as much about the team, the crew, the gear, as it is about the driver and the navigator and the actual race car, you know? And this is why we develop products like this, like the TH730 from years and years of doing this, you know, with the capabilities of having the winch exactly for this reason, very easy loading, tie down, having all the gear on board that we need. It's just it's so much a part of off-road racing. Um, and this is what Patriot Campus is all about. This is what we live for. And we do live and breathe this stuff, you know? We don't, we talk about it. Um, you see it all the promotional stuff. When you actually get to see what this family's all about, you understand where all this gear comes from. You know? We just started it, just wanted to make sure I was actually starting and check the voltage that it's charging now. It is charging now, that doesn't mean that it was charging on the track. So we just got to determine what went wrong on the track so it doesn't happen again. I'm going to give a shout out here in the middle of the mayhem uh, to the whole team down at Red Arc. Now Red Arc power, all and this is going to sound like a full blown Red Arc plug, but this is legit guys because you don't often get to see behind the scenes the electrical systems that we run and all the Patriot campers, all the PCOR gear. In the back of the PCOR canopy, I've got a 2000 watt inverter, sorry, 1500 watt inverter in this one, and a Red Arc BMS that powers everything we do when we're racing. So all the power tools you see us running, all the lighting that we use, everything that we need to uh, fix the cars is all Red Arc gear. And the, the, I suppose, I'm gonna use the term attrition rate because we're at a race and the attrition rate for us this weekend hasn't been good. The Red Arc gear, it is just, it's unbelievable stuff. It's gear that you trust. Have a look in here. So I've got a little power bank running here, power board here, uh, four off. I'll just get that side step up. Now I'm a little bit short for the big 2500, but I'll get up there and I'll just turn that inverter on. BMS here is showing me everything I've got going on. I've been running the whole weekend. I'm at 57%. I don't have solar on this truck. We just built it. I'm gonna get a, a couple of Red Arc solar panels mounted up on the roof, but we've got cigarettes, we've got USBs, pairing all the lights. My main brake is going in here. Um, and it's just, it's unbelievable gear. Now, you've seen in my loading up videos, product that I always carry with me. So what we're gonna do, uh, the Red Arc Smart Charger, we're gonna get that onto the, the um, 688 car right now. And while we're sitting in the pits, we're gonna get as much voltage pumped into that battery as we can while they try and sort the issue out. So let's go and get this done. Battery drop out, but now we've got voltage. We've got um, we've got thermos kicking in when they're not supposed to kick in 
you had to kick it in too early. Um, it's just got sort of this, these electrical gremlins that seem to be showing up. Um, Sus sus suspect water pump not turning on because it's electrical, but the pump's flowing, potentially maybe not flowing enough, but it's just at the moment the electrical system through the dash is all over the place. I don't know what the fault is with the electrics, right? Got no idea, it's something inter intermittent. Jamie thinks they've fixed the cooling system coming here. You've got to keep a very, very close eye on the water temperature. We don't want to cook a motor. Yep. If you go over 100 degrees... 120 is easy shut 120 shut the thing down. We're going to fill both of your camel, camel packs so you've got three litres of water. Don't open that radiator cap without it, yeah? Without the, the engine cooling down. Other thing you're going to have to keep an eye on is voltage. We put in that door there, we put in uh, the jumper pack. You know where the battery is in the car? Yep. So if you've got power, at least you could leave that connected and hopefully pop back to where you need. You've got like, yeah, we're going. Ten, we're going. You got ten minutes. You got ten minutes. So Ashton's going into the last race of the day. Um, it, I'm a lot more comfortable now. Um, when it started, I got a bit emotional, but after seeing that they are, you know, they're taking it easy and they're not pushing the limits, I feel really comfortable and I'm just, you know, rooting for them. So the boys are on the start line now. Uh, fingers crossed, we'll have to see how they go. They're all in there, they're belted in. Um, voltage is up, temperature's down. It's been idling now for about 10 minutes or something like that. Uh, fingers crossed, he can get around. Well, race, we just got to get this thing home, all right? Yep. We That's don't want to crash out, we don't want to do any of that. No. Stay safe, mate. Those jumps, we were a little bit, we weren't, I wasn't really happy with how we took those jumps. So. No. Here we go, 688 car going out for the final run of the day. Go boys, send it. Go the boys! Go. That's it, buddy. This bus jump nice and on it. So no, no, no. Keep that back there. Keep it nice and smooth. Right hander. Right hander. Right hander. Oh, oh. Done. It's okay. It's okay. Can you get out? Yeah. Steak. Came around there, made the hit the hit the, hit the thing, and away it was. Come here. Okay. Right. Wait. Okay. It was just so that's all it was. This just squares me. Huh? This is my son. It's very tough. Alright, you'll probably go. The way this car goes. It's, it's alright, mate. Oh! Don't, don't worry about it. I've done it too. Don't worry about it. It happens, mate. Yeah, I'm just mad at myself. I know, I know, and I get upset at myself too. They, that's racing, you'll learn from it, mate. You'll learn from it. You know, you came in a bit hot, man. It kind of, it is what it is, dude. All right? It is what it is. Uh, exactly this this right here. Yeah, That's all it was. Yeah, Look at that exactly group. Exactly. You're right, mate. Yeah. Look. You want to get back on the horse and get going again? Do you want to go? Yeah. Okay. Is that all right? Just, just take. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Come on. Let's do it. Hold back in. Put your suit on. Helmet on. 
take a, take a few deep breaths and get going. Got to get back on the horse. Yeah, thank you, mate. And just you know, you. just go slow down the road. Yep. Check the steering and everything. Check the brakes and all that sort of stuff. Yep. And if you're not happy, just pull up. Yep. Right there. Get back in there. You feel all good? Yeah. Just come. On. Get back this, in the car. This stuff happens. It's motorsport. Yep. We're going back here. We're going back here. Here. Yeah. Right. Copy. Everybody is safe. The car is going to continue. Me yeah, mate, gotcha. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, no worries. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Well, there's all the on, that's on. All right. Nice and easy, dude. Yeah, just roll it. Hey, boys, get into it. You are. All right, nice and easy. Up the berm, up the berm. Up the berm. That's it, next jump, nice and easy. That's it, that's what we're doing. Oh, no. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I'm I'm gutted for him, I'm absolutely devastated for him. He's so mad at himself, but I know that feeling, I know what it's like when you you make a mistake, and such a simple mistake, you know, last race of the day, riddled with problems, a couple of hours of sleep for these young kids, it's a lot of stress on them. I mean, I do it at 40, I can't hold my nerves back. And he's just made a dumb mistake, it's a really stupid mistake. And it's, you know, you can't say it's not his fault, because it is, it is his fault, it's no one else. He's driving the car, but he's got to learn all these things, you know, to calm the nerves down, but to see the disappointment on him, that is like heartbreaking as a parent. But he got back on the horse, Thank you to the officials here, uh, clerk of the course, uh, especially for letting him continue on. Um, he started yelling at me when I, I crossed onto the course, and I probably should not, but that's my son in the car upside down. There's no one was going to stop me. You know, it would have taken a hundred of them to stop me. Got him back in. He seems to be settled. I'm a little bit concerned when he took off there. I could hear the car. I don't think it was coming on to boost. Car might be in limp mode. Hopefully, he's smart enough to shut it down again. Uh, do a reset on it. Let's see if we can get this um, this thing around the track this time. Was he okay, babe? He's rattled. Yeah, I know. He's just he's like in tears. Hit like hitting himself in the head and shit. Yeah. He's just disappointed in himself, you know? Yeah. I just say it's probably a good thing that he did get back in the car though, because remember it was Murray. when I rolled. It was Murray. Murray's like, dude, get back in the car. Yeah. Go and finish your luck. Yeah. Ashton's like, are you serious? Murray's like, get in the car. Get back on the horse, go and finish your luck. Yeah, I regret not. And I'm like, back legend. Yeah, that's what a legend. Yeah. You know? Do the same thing. Do the same thing, yeah, we're up. Okay. Um, all right, yep, yeah, pull around. Pull around. Justin, did you copy? Just shut it off, mate. That's it. What an, what an event. What a learning experience. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna look at this? Yeah. What a learning experience. 688, you got a copy? Yeah, got a. Uh, are you uh, stopped due to mechanical fault or? Yeah. Uh, I think Sean. Correct. Sean, are you ah. Did you have fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had lots of fun. That was like the best race of my life. I rolled at first corner and then overheated it. It was good. It was good fun. You good? Yeah, I'm good now. Head's good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm good. We had a laugh about it. Yeah, we did have a little laugh about it. I'm so proud of you for keeping on going, mate. Well done. Yeah, yeah. No, that was good getting back in the car. Yeah. I think that was the only way. Yeah, it's the only way to do it. So, not a good weekend, eh? Nope. They always say standard racing, but it still hurts. Yeah, it, it really hurts actually. It hurts more for the kids. I'm not. I'm yeah, not. Yeah, it's not. I could care less about us. Like, we're shake out, down we're at the truck. Shaking it out for them. 
This is their first real event after just getting their licenses, you know. Tommy's stepping in, doing everything that needs to be done. The boys having an absolute ball. Whole you team know, there. We've been through with getting that car up here, getting the parts, getting yeah. them to the track. But you know what? Like this is a big learning curve, and mm. it's also big, big things for them and their personalities. Yep. And understanding failure. Yep. You can't win everything. Not that we actually win. You can't win everything. Yeah. But when we do win, it's going to be a lot sweeter. It's man. going to be up there. Well, look, we'll get all this thing, uh, everything loaded up now. And, um, Hope you've enjoyed watching these episodes, you know, this is um, the highs and lows of off-road racing, but at the end of the day, you know, our family always sticks together. This is what Patriot does. This is Patriot life, you know, um, and I wouldn't have it any other way. All right, guys, so we're not going to leave you wondering exactly what happened. I'm going to run you through. It's been a couple of days now since the race. Um, I'm going to introduce you, actually, come here, Charlie. Charlie, come and say hello. This is Charlie. So the kids have been waiting um, for Charlie to come in. We've been looking for a little puppy for a while, so you're going to see her over the next few episodes of Patriot Games. But the trophy truck. So here's what happened, right? We're getting to know this truck. We're getting to understand it. Right here is the Mezier water pump. Now, what's actually happened? Uh, one of the engineers here has figured it out over the past couple of days. The crank pulley... Um, on this truck has been too big. Now the old owner had a couple of issues with this water pump in the past We've just found out he's replaced it a few times Quite simply uh, the crank pulley was too big on the truck. This pump is rated to spin to 7,000 rpm We were spinning this pump at about 9,800 rpm. It's got a ceramic bearing in the back um, And it's flogged out the bearing and it's it's damaged the seal and that's why this is uh, leaked water so we've been talking to Mezier in the United States. This is a spare pump. This is uh, one that was actually meant to arrive before we left for the race. And as fate would have it, the pump turned up um, the day that we actually departed. It came into Patriot Campus and we didn't know. Had we have had this with us, uh, we could have uh, put it back on. Chances are we would have uh, overspun this pump and blown this one up as well. So that's what happened with the 484 truck. This is all part of the learning curve um, and all the things that we need to get to know and understand. Now with the Polaris, there's been a big domino effect that has all been caused by one event and one person's fault. And I'm gonna give you a look at what I did to this poor little car last year. Stop, stop, stop. So you can see there, I had a massive accident uh, at one of the races. The last race I did in the Razor last year, which we didn't film, I uh, hit a tree at about 80 kilometers an hour and I ripped the whole front end out of the car. Now the domino effect that's happened is what I'm gonna run you through right now. First of all, the EPS unit steering shaft runs into the bottom here. Steering wheel's connected at the top, like you saw in the episode. Uh, that uh, steering shaft has taken the complete impact of that hit. So I've hit it pretty much dead on right in the front of the car and in the uh, right hand corner, rip that corner out. It's damaged something inside that unit and that unit's played the game for a little bit during testing and then decided to pack it in. Now it gets a little bit worse than that. Because the impact was at the front, from factory, the whole cooling system is mounted at the front of uh, the Polaris Razor, like most vehicles, your radiator and your inner cooler. So I bent all of them, damaged them, cracked them, and we had a bit of a light bulb moment here. Well, now's the time. Let's move all the cooling system to the back of the car so it's protected for future. I won't do that again. But while we're at it, we'll go with a bigger capacity radiator and a bigger capacity intercooler to try and keep the car a little bit cooler. Um, and that's caused more problems, more issues. Now, to get that big capacity, we've put on two massive thermo fans. The thermo fans are drawing a lot of power out of the vehicle. And here's where we made the biggest mistake of all. In the interest of uh, keeping the car lightweight, and that's one of the priorities, I suppose, when it comes to building a race car, you want to keep them as light as possible. The factory Polaris battery weighs about 12 kilos. This thing here weighs underneath a kilo. The factory battery is 30 amp hours. This thing is six amp hours. So the factory battery is five times the capacity. What's happened during the race, you are seen all the electrical problems and the radiator problems, and we were kind of looking at them as two separate issues. They were all related to one thing. The capacity in this battery wasn't enough. So at the end of Christian's race, they did say the car was starting to get hot. Um, 
we topped up that header tank. Ashton went out on the second day with the battery voltage uh, down a lot lower than Christian starting, obviously, on day one. And what's happened is the thermo fans have been the first thing to shut down, so the, the engine has got hot. That's the radiator issues that you saw. The electrical gremlin that we were chasing, um, the boys have done all the testing on this when we got back from the race. State is fine, electrical system is fine. The battery was completely dead uh, flat. Very easy fix. We throw that in the bin and we put this back in. And there's a bit of a tip there for guys. And we're getting a lot of questions coming through uh, social media and the YouTube channel and that now. Um, where do I start? Where do I get into off-road racing? Well, here's the best bit of advice that I'll give you if you haven't been around a race car and you want to get into off-road racing. Keep them standard. Buy a Polaris Razor straight out of the box. Do your cams regulation stuff, obviously. Put your roll cage, your seats. If you want to run Fink, go with a bigger capacity uh, fuel tank because you're going to need it. Outside of that, don't touch the car. These companies spend millions of dollars in research and development, ensuring the reliability uh, is as best as possible. They're an off-road race vehicle and all of the products work together. It's no different than what we do at Patriot Campers. We have a lot of different products uh, that are very heavily engineered to ensure that they all work together. When you start making modifications uh, to race cars, that's where you'll start investing the time and investing the money um, to refigure out what the factory already knows. So there's a tip for everybody looking at off-road racing. All of that though, does not excuse the fact that Ashton rolled the car. That was completely driver error. But look, you can see how disappointed that kid was. He's learnt a lot from it. It'll make him a better driver. This will make us better as a team. We've learned a lot, uh, lot more. And now, look, there's another couple of races coming up this year and we're going, we've got to get the monkey off our back. We've got to get both these cars to finish, get them ready for the 2021 season and hopefully bring a trophy home to Patriot HQ. Keep an eye out for the upcoming episodes and let's see where we can get these two off-road vehicles uh, to finish in the up-and-coming races.